uh, they say that ammonia uh, can hardly, can readily rather, dissolve in water according to the equation below. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they say, uh, explain why a hydroxide ion is regarded as a lowry bronsted base. Remember, what is a lowry bronsted base? It's a proton acceptor. Okay. So obviously it would be regarded as a... Uh, um, you know, as a as as a base because it is able to accept protons. All right. Um, now, uh, if you don't mind, uh, this session we will we'll try and keep it a little bit shorter. Yeah? So once we're done with this one, I think uh, we can really call it a day. Okay. Right. Now they say to us. Um, <clears throat> in fact, let me just quickly show you uh, what I did earlier. Right. We said you've got NH three <clears throat> plus H two O. Um, which will give me NH4 plus, plus OH minus. Now, look at this. Once again, you can be able to identify which one is the lowry bronsted acid base conjugate pairs, right? And all you simply do to do that, right, look at this. NH3 started as NH3, and what does it become when it gets to the other side? It becomes NH4. So what happened to NH3? It must have accepted a proton, so it means this guy must be a base, Okay, so if this is a base, this must be an acid. Okay, now let's go for the reverse reaction, right? Starts as NH4 in the reverse, right? Ends up as NH3. So what happened to NH4 to end up as NH3? It must have donated an H+. plus. So this guy must actually be an acid. Okay, and obviously, if that is an acid, that guy must be the base. Now, when they say to you identify the acid-base conjugate pairs. What I was trying to show you earlier on is that look at this. You just simply take the base on the other side, you pair it with an acid uh, on the other side, right? So this base pairs with that acid. This acid pairs with that base, okay? And uh, what you would have is NH3 pairs with NH4+, plus, okay? But you also have H2O pairing with OH-, minus, okay? Right. So please keep in mind, um, you know, what I'm just trying to show you there is that you can always be able to determine what's the acid base conjugate pairs. And by the way, uh, note once again, two things that look the same. The only difference is the H plus. They look the same, but the only difference is just an H plus. Okay.